Okay, so, so far in the trauma call, okay, so this is a 24-year-old gentleman who's um, fallen down some steps, okay. Can we just go through the, from the top? Simon, what's your assessment of the airway? Um, we seem to be maintaining his airway at the moment, but I'm rather concerned because his GCS is only about four or five, uh, so he's not going to be protecting his airway. He needs to be intubated. I agree. Okay, before we go into intubation, can we just run through BC? Okay, on to B, what was the air entry like? It was equal bilateral. There doesn't appear to be any chest trauma at all. Um, no evidence of pneumothoraces. Okay, and saturations, you can see, they're running at 99%. Okay, circulation, from the monitor, heart rate is 90. And blood pressure, Corey, when was it last taken? A minute ago, it was okay. 12 Okay, so that's happy. Okay. And D, just we've got a GCS of four, you say. What's yeah. the BM before we proceed? 4.1. 4.1. And from previously, you said there's a big head injury at the top. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, pupils are equal though at the moment, their size uh, four and reactive. Okay, so we're in a situation where we need to intubate, but it's not urgent, so we've got a couple of minutes to do that. Is everyone in yeah, agreement? Yeah. As soon as we've done the intubation, we we'll go to the CT scanner. Okay, I'm going to run through the intubation checklist. I know we've already told the CT scanner to prepare for intubation, to prepare for the patient so we can proceed now. Okay, so we're happy to the checklist, you're happy and everyone's happy intubation is necessary. 100% oxygen, can we make sure 100% oxygen is? Yeah, on? I think I might just uh, go to a water circuit so that I can give a better seal here. Okay, so and could we get a CO2 trace onto that please as well? We've got CO2 attached, so yeah, I'll let you know about that. Fantastic, okay. Don, if you can let me know when the CO2 is picking up. Okay, I'm going to be the team leader for this intubation. But Simon, you're going to be the first intubator? That's correct, Rob. Okay. Who would be the second intubator if you ran into difficulty? I have a colleague who's spare round in the main theatres on bleep 8224. And who is that? That's the senior registrar. Okay. Um, who's going to be your um, anaesthetic assistant or your intubator assistant? Is that going to be you, Donna? That will be me. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, you're going to be doing cryoquid as well? Yes. Okay. CO2 is now being Thank you very much. Who's going to be giving drugs? Drugs, and you're, as the anaesthetic SHO, you'll be doing drugs. Okay, and who's going to be doing manual inline stabilisation? That'll be me. Okay, so we've got a plan. Okay, um, have you assessed the airway? Um, it's difficult to assess. He's got a collar on, so it's going to be potentially difficult. There doesn't seem to be any debris in there, cracked teeth or anything like that, or blood. Okay, fine, so you're happy? Reasonably, as okay. far as you can be with a patient with a potential cervical spine injury. Okay. Emmy, is there um, free-flowing IV access? Um, yes, we've got IV access okay. here. Yeah. Can we just put up a bag of fluids to make sure it's free-flowing? Did you do that, Colin? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, Donna, monitoring. We've got capnography on. Yes. You've already told me. ECG monitoring. I've yeah. seen it, it's already got it on. Blood pressure. We've got um, non-invasive blood pressure. I think we just carry with non-invasive. We haven't got time for invasive. Do you agree? Yeah, uh, depending on the CT scan, I could put an line in afterwards, but it's reasonably stable at the moment, so okay. I'm to proceed. Can we just check? How frequent it is um, cycling the non-invasive blood pressure? So every five minutes. Okay, change can we change it? Sorry. Yeah, change, change it to two and a half minutes. Yep. It's changed. Fantastic. And the SATs are on, we've got SATs of 99%. Okay, just going through checking our equipment still. You've got a water circuit, you're happy it's functioning water circuit? Yeah, absolutely. You've got misting, bags moving, got CO2 trace. Okay, suction. Can we check suction, please? Thank you, Rob. Yep. Suction is here, under the. And you're happy it's working? Yep. Appears to be working normally. Okay, have we got two tr tracheal tubes that should be checked? Yeah, we've got a size seven and a seven and a half, I think. Asked, was that correct? Wonderful. Okay. Two laryngoscopes which are working? Yes. Okay, have we got a bougie? Yes. Okay, and a difficult airway trolley? Yes. Can you just run through what's in there? We've got all the four trolleys, have we? All the we four? Have all four boxes and. Um, got a proceal anime in there. Okay, and have we got the um, manuject? Yep, we've got that there. I've checked that earlier on. Okay, being my shift. Okay, so have we got a ventilator ready for once we've intubated them? We've got yeah. the Oxlog 3000 here with the appropriate tubing. Yeah, okay. we can yeah. set that up. That'd be great. Okay, can you set that up? Okay, in terms of the drugs we need, yeah. um, have we got the drugs and we've got the difficult, um, difficult drug box? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Not difficult drug box, I mean the intubation drug box. So, induction agent, what do you want to? Um, his blood pressure is reasonably stable. I'm going to go with five pen tanks. It's head injury, 350 milligrams. Yeah. Okay. Let me get that ready. Okay. What is, what's your neuromax for the junction? Well, it's going to be a rapid seek induction. He's probably had a load of alcohol, full stomach, so it's going to be succimethonium, 100 milligrams. Okay. Followed by, we'll use atricurium to keep him paralysed afterwards. Okay, so just repeat that back. 350 milligrams of five pen That's great. Correct. Yeah. 100 milligrams of um, succimethonium. Okay, and to keep him paralysed, atricurum? Yes, that's right. And what dose? 
Uh, 50 milligrams. So 50 milligrams. Okay. And what's our maintenance agent you wish to use? Uh, we'll have some propofol to go around a CT scanner, so we'll need uh, the infusion pump for that as we well. Wonderful. And a 50 mil syringe there, we can draw that up and go around to scanner. Fantastic. Okay. So, so far we've prepared us and the patients, we've prepared the equipment, we're prepared for difficulty. So, plan A is RSI. That's correct, Rob. Okay. Plan B, bag valve mask ventilation? Yeah, oh. with a Goodell Airwave. Okay. If that doesn't work, plan C would be? Well, we've got in the um, next draw down, we've got a, a Pro Seal LMA I'll go for next. Okay, and plan D? If well, we're if really we can't, still can't ventilate despite that, and I've called for help, we'll go straight for a needle cricothyrotomy, especially if the SATs have dipped below 90. Okay, and we've got access to all that relevant? Yeah, and I'm stuff. happy to do that procedure. Okay, so is everybody happy to proceed? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Simon, you're in charge of this. Um, want to go for it now, yeah? Happy? Yeah, we're going to have to uh, loosen the front of the collar and take away the blocks okay. and do manual inline immobilisation from um, patient's end, bottom end there, and you're going to do cricoid donor, okay? Okay. All right. Should we start doing that? Okay, so I'm going to stabilise the head from the top. Apart from talking about what's going on with the patient, can we have the silence, please, because it's a very high risk procedure? Okay. Yes, you can loosen the front of the collar there. Take over control of the neck there. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Right. So, Simon, are you happy for drugs to be given? Um, yeah, we've got everything ready. Are you happy there, Don? Just to double check. Such one's working okay. And you'll be doing cricoid. And you've got the drugs ready to go there. Yeah. So, just to double check 350 off thiopento, yes. followed by succinthonium and a flush. Okay. okay. Can you call them out whilst you give them, please? Yes. Okay. So, this is a 350 of thiopento just going in now. And then the 100 milligrams of substance. Lovely. So it's going into cricoid, yep, please. Given. Okay. Simon, could you please talk aloud as you intubate so we all know what's going on? Okay, sure. I'm just waiting for the uh, circulations. Okay, <coughs> stop there. Okay, good. If someone could let me know if the SAT starts to drop at any point. Okay, size fork blade. Still. Okay, it's a grade two view. Saturations of ninety nine percent. Okay, that's good. Seeing the tube go through the cords. Chest rising and falling. Got CO2 back. I Missing can see there. CO2. Okay, cricoid off. Thank you very much. Emmy, would you like to have a listen as well yep. to check this um, electrical air entry? Good air entry on the right. Lovely. And good air entry on the left. We've got good CO2 and we've got SATs of 100%. Okay, just put the tube there for me. And give the squeeze of the bag. 12 breaths per minute. And we'll do another blood pressure, Corey, please, just to mm -hmm. check that we haven't dropped his blood pressure with our induction. 118 of 79. Lovely. Okay, I've loosely tied the tube because it's a head injury potentially. Okay, good, right. I'll get control of the head. Okay, good. And we'll get the collar back on. Still got our CO2, we're still ventilating nicely. So that's 99. Would you like the atricurium? Yeah, we can give the atricurium now and we're set up for the propofol infusion and we get the Oxylog 3000 ready so we can go around and we need a transport monitor as well to go. Okay, so just to summarise, you're giving the atricurium? Yes, giving the atricurium now. Okay. Corey, you're set up the propofol infusion? Yeah. Okay, and we have secured the head end. Okay, so starting from the top, airway is secure. Yep, you're happy? happy with that. We've got profile running, we've had extra curum, and we're going to put them onto the ventilator. Breathing, we've got SATs 99%, and you were happy there was good air entry. Yes. Circulation, Corey, could you just press the blood pressure again, please? Yeah. 112 over 47. Fantastic. Okay. And heart rate, as I can see, is 90. So from that point of view, we're happy. Okay. We have all, in our intubation box, we've got all the metraminol 
and we've got all the ephedrine in case we have a low blood pressure. Okay. Would you mind getting the transfer monitor and would you mind calling um, for CT scanner? Can you just repeat that back, please? I'm going to call for CT scanner. I'm going to get the transport monitor. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Lovely.